This is Replicant Fish. Welcome back. Glad you could join me again. Hope you're doing well. Having a good day. So I'm trying a few different things. And this article and story caught my attention. Joe Rogan, obviously, famous YouTuber and podcaster, has signed a new deal with Spotify. But with this new deal, he will broadcast solely on Spotify. Which brings up an interesting question. Is Joe Rogan paving the way for influencers and content creators? Where in a sense, where in a sense, more platforms may open up to them where they can expand from, let's say, just YouTube or Twitch, and in some cases, only fans, <laughs> onto more broader horizons, if you will. But enough fish waffling. Let's begin. Why Joe Rogan's exclusive Spotify deal matters from BBC News. Joe Rogan has signed an exclusive deal with Spotify, which will see his podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience, disappear from all other platforms. The multi-year deal is believed to be worth $100 million or £82 million, my god, according to the Wall Street Journal. Rogan's podcast, which is one of the most popular in the world, will arrive on the streaming giant on the 1st of September. It will then be housed there exclusively by the end of the year and removed from all other platforms. It will remain free and will be the exact same show, so more talking about kicking people's ass in ayahuasca, said Rogan, is just a licensing deal, so Spotify won't have any creative control over the show. They want me to just continue doing it the way I'm doing it right now. I'm excited to have the support of the largest audio platform in the world, and I hope you folks are there when we make the switch. And I will leave it there. The article goes on to talk about who Joe Rogan is, but I think most people know who he is by now. The point is, is he paving the way for what some content creators or influencers should or could expect in the future? Where it's not a sense of just waiting for new video hosting websites like YouTube, but maybe in a sense of expanding more into other forms of media that already exist. We see how iTunes and Spotify have been expanding over the years. The thing is, some believe YouTube's only competition is another platform like YouTube. But then again, in Mr. Rogan's experience, we could see that may not be the case. But then again, yes, I know, I know, we're not all flipping Joe Rogan. We're not all going to be offered $82 million for a damn contract deal. That's not all of us, obviously. He's famous and he was famous already anyway. But the simple point is, is it another option for certain content creators? But what do you think? Quick short video, trying a few new things. The good thing is to always think of new ways to expand on what you're doing, as Mr. Rogan is doing. In other words, focus, observe, remember. The world is yours. Have a nice day.